Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lottie. For those of you who don't know me, I make crochet vlogs, market prep videos, market day videos, and all a bunch of other stuff. Lifestyle vlogs too at this point. Anything and anything really. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the button that looks like this. We are doing a week a vlog week i haven't made one of these in a little while so i miss doing this don't mind me i'm in my little cozy my little comfy snuggie <laughs> um we're starting off the new year right um i don't know if you guys can see back there i have upgraded my um i'll show you in a bit i upgraded where i put my yarn i got it off amazon i moved around my guest room once again if you guys have been here for a minute you guys already know i've moved this guest room guest room around like 10 hundred times it's a it's a it's a thing but i'm going to show you guys how many octos i have prepped for my next market <laughs> one <laughs> i have one and that's not enough for those of you who are new here, I always say if you're looking for a really good thing to market prep, it would be Octos. Octos are super easy to make. They are super quick to make and they are my best seller at my market. At my last market, I believe I had 35 of them and I sold 34. So, and I priced them at $5. So if you ever have questions, let me know in the comments down below. I do my best to try to reply to everyone. It's been getting a little hard, but I try my best. I promise. Please, please, please. Let it, I promise. <laughs> so I'm going to go in. I'm going to jump right into this uh, video. I'm going to show you guys back there so you guys can kind of see what I'm working with now. And I'm going to be doing some octos in this fun color like those. I think I want to try to use all of this up. We'll see how many octos I can make today. I do have my... MMA class at the end of the day today so we'll see how much I can get done before I have to leave and yeah today's an octo day in the next couple days I have one market set up this month only one market day we had three last month so give me a break all right I got a market prep so much I have nothing like nothing and then I have two for February so we have to market prep because those two are back to back so I have to really really lock in these next three weeks and market prep as much as I can to be ready for those next three. So let's get into it. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the button that looks like this. Let's get into it. Also, here are all my little baby dragons. Posies. Look at, they're all... Um, This is the one that you guys saw in the pattern. For those of you who've been asking, the pattern is now released by the time you guys see this. Link will be in the description box below. You can get it off Etsy or you can get the pattern off my shop. It's a little cheaper on my shop, so if you want to go there, you can. But look at them all together. I cannot stop making these. I want to make more. Everyone who's made them so far say that it's a super quick make. And at least the couple of girls who have my pattern already. Because if you're on Patreon, you already have it for free. I also have my Patreon in link in the description box. I give my patterns whenever I make one for free for you guys. Because I got to help you all out. Also, look at this beautiful blanket. Danielle, I will never, ever get over this blanket like I just wrap myself in it all the time now but this is what I wanted to show you guys look at I got these like cubbies off of um Amazon so I put them in color order I tried to at least these are kind of like the misfits but look how cute I yarn caked everything I was like no I'm gonna go into this new year being prepared so I did that and yeah so Mm, these ones I have ready everyone everyone that's made one so far like the girls who have made them have told me that they already sold them so they've been like their best seller so far and I'm like that makes me so happy so I need to market prep some octos so let's do it
Okay, so I finished my first one of the day. This is how she turned out. This um, is Burnett Blanket. I believe it's like, I don't know the name of it. I forget, but so now I have two of these little cuties. Um, I love them. If you're wondering what I was doing with the eyes, if you're new here, um, I use, so I have safety eyes, and I know people have told me I could burn them and flatten them so that they're a little more secure. I don't know why, like, well, I'll use this, like, um, it's called, like, a auxiliary tool for your safety eyes. So it just, like, clips them on there, and I really like them. But just in case, you know, sometimes, like, um, there, there's a the possibility that they do fall out, you know what I mean? So I try to do everything I can so that they don't fall out. So I will use the super glue. It doesn't really matter. I've used generic brands. Oscar just happened to get me Gorilla Glue for this this time. And um, I just put a little bit on the backing after I push it in already. And I'll wait a little bit and then I stuff it. And then it makes me have a little more peace out mind. Um, I do tell people, and I mean, you see it on all of the crocheters, like websites, like, they, they're choking hazards so i like make sure that i tell parents like hey it's a choking hazard just so you know but i do take my i do my damnedest to like do all the precautions i can do you guys see all my little friends up here for those of you who didn't see my last video i have a new positive potato i'm adding to the little shelf like i'm just putting all the little tiny guys that i get sent here positive potato i have this one from Haley. My little um, Octo is so cute. And then I have my little bear. This bear is so cute. And this one's from Alyssa, who's um, Keep It Naughty on Instagram. Love them. But I'm going to continue on and let's go. Change of scenery. I'm laying down on the bed because I got tired of sitting in the chair. If you're a crocheter, don't forget to get up and walk around, move your body. It's very sedentary. Um, but I have a little update. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these done. And I'm making an eighth. I'm literally going to keep going until I use all of this up because then I can move on to another color. I like to go in the rainbow, so I'll probably start with uh red after this i'm just someone who likes to like get all the bases covered um colors that i think do really well um at markets are anything that's mixed like this and purples pinks blues those tend to do a lot better than say my orange and yellow ones even though at this market like all of the other colors got taken first and like I was left with one orange. So just a little snippet there. I try my best to like give you guys tips. I know sometimes it's like repetitive, but it honestly like it's like it really does help. So I'm just letting you guys know. I also need to make some black ones, but we'll see how many I can make today. I really want to fill this up. Um, the last time I checked in with you guys, I did a dual live and I packed, I sold a koala! Claire, Claire's a, um, fiber artist, a crochet artist here in Vegas. So she actually purchased a koala for me. There's some sort of, like, like, I don't know, like, obviously I think everyone who purchases from me, like, I appreciate it. But there's something about another crochet artist who is fully capable of making what they bought from me themselves. And the fact that they decide to buy from me just shows you, like, this community, this side of the community, the, like, the, like, the part of the community that supports each other and looks out for each other. Like, that's what it's about. Like, oh my gosh. I do my best, like, when I have the ability to. And, I mean, most of you can, like, vouch for me. I go out of my way and I try to purchase from small businesses most of my vendor stuff like I try to make sure that I'm supporting small businesses rather than bigger businesses you know just because it's like it means more and it, there's more of love coming from it so that's my little two cents I'm working on the eighth one and I'm doing good so let's go okay little update not little big update um it's I think like 1 a.m right now and I think I'm calling it a day and this is my bucket now and I took a little count I have it written down I'm gonna work on um, octos tomorrow as well because I only got through three colors today um, but I feel like it's okay because these ones are all like a bunch of different colors so I think it's fine don't mind me looking crazy it's the it's the morning okay don't judge me <laughs> So purple pink mix, I made 13 of them. So that's these, made 13. Leave in the comments down below, what should I name this color on the shop? 
Should it be just purple pink mix? I don't know. I feel like that's too lame. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what I should name this purple pink mix. We made 13 of those. Um, there was already one of these left, so I made nine pale orange ones. And then red, I made 10. So 10 plus 10 plus 13 is 33. So I made 32 octos today, which I think is really good. I just um, am going to now clean up the office. I want to try to do that every time so that every day I don't have to spend the majority of my beginning of the day organizing it to start and then, you know, leaving it for the next day. So I will do that. Tomorrow is another Octo day and I will be giving you guys updates. It's the next day and it's giving tired. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't go to bed until like I think I finished crocheting last night I think I told you it was like 1am or something try to just hear y'all come up here get up here you just love to be in here oh my god oh my god we're gonna fall the people saw the people saw how you um abused me woman in the last video do you have anything to say for yourself That's what I thought. It's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you, mommy. But anyways, so I, I like stopped crocheting yesterday at like 1 a.m. And I didn't go to bed till like 3. And then, so <laughs> I'm a little tired. But I'm going to keep going on some more octos. We're at 33. I want to get at least through the rainbow. I was able to get through three colors yesterday. But usually I'm able to get through more colors because I do by fives. But for some reason, I did 10 of each yesterday. But it's because I have three markets coming up back to back to back, basically. Like, I have three weeks until the next, or two weeks till the next one. She's so cute. Two weeks till the next one. Okay, you have to know this because you're going to be there too. You work. Oh, she does not want to hear about her schedule. Go ahead, baby. Two weeks. And then we have the first market of the year, which is going to be with Market in the Alley here in Vegas. I love Market in the Alley. I love the organizers. They're so cool. They have a bunch of different places and locations now, and I love being a part of that community. So I have that one. And then I believe, I don't know if it's one week or two weeks in between, I have another one. I did get approved for it for another Market in the Alley at the Uncommons. Do you guys like my earrings? Yeah, they got me these for Christmas and I love them. They're from a small business. I think their name is Hazel Pop. Super cute. Um, but they're so, so cute. She got me some pink ones too, but I was feeling like the black vibe today. Um, and then after that, I have five days in between the next two. And then I didn't... I didn't get anything for March yet. I think actually, I think I did. But not the first beginning of March because I'm going on vacation. And I will be recording that. So comment down below where you think I'm going. Take your guess. Take your guess. If you get it right, I'll like it. <laughs> As if I don't like every single one. Or I try to at least. But alright, let me get into the day. Okay, I know we always talk about what do we watch during crocheting. And I always say I watch like murder stuff and murder documentaries, true crimes. I watch a lot of like Little Women LA, Little Women Atlanta, Little Women anything. If you guys don't know what that is, it's like a show, a reality show about little women. Literally like little women. <laughs> and I love the drama. Um, but I've like rerun through I don't know how many series on or seasons on YouTube where it's like I gotta stop. So... I went back on Netflix, because I haven't been on Netflix in a minute, and I started watching this show called School Spirits. I'm not going to go into it, but it's really good. Very, very good time passed to be watching while crocheting. It helped me get through all 33 of my octaves yesterday, so tip right there. If you want to watch, School Spirits. 10 out of 10 so far. I'm not even halfway through, but I love it. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to be watching that, and we're going to start making some octaves. No, this is Patrick. <laughs> Okay, so a little check-in from from today. Um, I started on pale yellow, so this is what I showed you guys. And now we've done two, four, six, eight. I love throwing in ten. Ten pale yellow. So now I'm going to go on to green. Two hours later, 
I'm just kidding. I finished a cute little green one. We moved on to green. So this is what my little box is going. Remember when we didn't have nothing in here and now we have some in here? <laughs> I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Finished the last one, so we hit the. I honestly wonder how many of these octos would last me. I honestly feel like I only have. 63 right here so this would last me one more kit so i don't know if i'm gonna do octos tomorrow too because i only have well i guess i do have purple and pink but i don't have like regular purple or just regular because i wanted to go through i had this idea that i was going to go through the rainbow colors that's what i'm doing now like i'm on blue right now and i needed to finish um i know that some of the ones that I'm going to say next are not on the rainbow rainbow, but I need to do some pink ones, like regular pink ones, because I have these ones that are like purple and pink. But then I was going to go through the rainbow again, but you know how I have this red, but then I would go through my dark reds and dark greens and dark yellows and dark oranges, well, bright yellows and stuff, so. Kind of in that place. Also... I thought I would try to like say thank you to all of the new Patreon. I just checked. We're actually at 43 people now on Patreon. Like it's been going crazy. Um, 45 members. So thank you Ivy for joining the Patreon. Thank you Echo at Oak and Anchor. Thank you Angie. Thank you Chloe. These are all from people today. Thank you Chelsea. Thank you guys all for joining. Um... Yeah, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You guys have no idea. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to join the Discord if you're on there because we get to talk on there. We're going to do Zoom crochet meets. But yeah, so I'm at 30. So this might be a video of just how many octos I can make in a week. But I say that and then I get bored and then I'll probably end up doing dinos. I don't know. You guys know me. I never know what I'm going to do. <laughs> but I'll see you tomorrow. It's the next day. Am I outfit repeating? Yes. Yes, I am because I just stayed home the whole time. So, I don't want to hear it. But, so, little recap of last night. I made three more, or 30 more octos. So, we're at 63. I feel like this video is just going to end up being how many octos I can make in a week. Technically, less than a week because I started Tuesday. So, Tuesday I did 33. Yesterday I did 30. Today, I'm trying to do another 30, hopefully. So, that'll give me 93. Um, and then I'm gonna see how many I can make and necessarily that's like in three days So we can see if I can try to push the limits that we got an order. So enjoy me This is a little intermission of me packing in order. Enjoy this time-lapse <laughs>
the Joannes, forgot my camera. Could I have vlogged on my phone? Yes. Did I? No. But let me show you guys. Let me get into it really quick. Uh, I don't know why my brain is going like, brother? Brethren? Name that movie. No, you're wrong. It's She's the Man. If you know what I'm talking about, we get it. Brethren. <laughs> I don't know why I keep thinking that. So I got another pale yellow because I was running out of yellow, pale, pale yellow. I got my gold yellow because I don't have any of this gold yellow. I have like a different type of yellow, but it's not the gold yellow I use. I got some Burnett Baby Sparkle in the yellow because it's like in between. This is the yellow I used to use, but it didn't have sparkle. Like the bees that I used to have didn't have sparkle, but it was this yellow and I missed this yellow in just regular yarn. But so I got it. All of these are baby. Yeah, these are all baby. I got some more lavender because I'm gonna I'm running out and I need to make some optos. So I don't think I was gonna have enough. I got another one of these because I used it all up because I want to make some elephants at some point with this. Who knows if I'll do that in this video? I doubt it. And that's my yarn haul. So a nice little yarn haul. Nice little quick little little vibe. When I see this holographic beauty come in the mail, my heart goes pita pata. Um, it's from O Fire Co. If you guys don't know who O Fire Co is at this point, you gotta be new because that's what my favorite um, yarn hook brand is. O Fire Co. It's a small it's a small business, woman woman owned. Her name's Ashley who owns it. Love her to death. She's so sweet. I love like what she's doing Her hooks are just amazing. So Let's open this up. I do have a code So if you want to use my code to shop through it will be linked in the description box, but you don't have to There's also plenty of other creators who have who are affiliates as well. You can go check them out too. Just support a small business. Okay, so look at this I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna be very careful I'm so excited. <laughs> They're beautiful. I bought two of them. Oh my god. So I got the winter collection. A four and a five. Look at them. Shut up. Look at that color, y'all. Look at them. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have another order coming in. It should be coming uh, probably next week or I hope this week. It said it was shipped, but I doubt it's going to get here that soon. But I think I think they're in Arizona, so I don't know. Sometimes it gets closer. So I bought another stand. This is going to be the stand that goes under here for like the hooks that I don't like. All of these, I don't use them as much anymore because I've gotten so used to crocheting with this type of um hook and I just find it, it the yarn just slips so much easier I feel like I'm more efficient honestly you don't even have to use my code I mean I don't even have a code you don't even have to use my link honestly I don't give a fuck but if I could give you one tip these are so good like just don't drop them because they will break all right they're resin so be careful I I work on carpet so when I drop them I'm not too worried about them you know but I've heard some people say their stuff breaks. So I've tried a lot of hooks. These are, were not my first set of hooks. I have a whole set of hooks somewhere else. I've given a whole set away for um, my aunt in Mexico. Um, I have hooks that I've tried from different people. Like these ones. I love the way they look, but they don't work for my grip. Um, the silicone ones I do love. I love this one. Ashton made me this one. And that's a five. But I wanted to get another one. And only put old fire cook hooks in it because to the eye it's a little more pleasing to me to just have these hooks so let me show you guys my little collection I have right now going with old fire she has these stands come on you can't tell me these aren't so fucking cute like a pink but I'm not that much of a pink girl so I ordered one that was a little less like gaudy so I could have it on the top of my uh, desk but look at these <laughs> and I have I think three more coming so let me put them in order. Put them in right now. So this is four, four and a half, four and a half, four and a half, five. No. Five, six. And I have, I believe, like a five and a half coming, a six and a half, seven. I believe I have those sizes coming so that I can finish. Like I have a red, yellow, and orange one coming so I can have the rainbow. I think I'm missing a purple one, so I'll probably still have to order more, but... These are my favorite. Look at, at the shimmers. 
Ah, I love it. She just came out with more of these. These got just got restocked and then the pink just got restocked. So I'm just like... As you can see, I am not shy to buy the same freaking. I'm a four and a half girly. Like, that's my favorite size. This is my favorite size to use. I don't know. My plushies come out at a perfect size with the four and a half. It's just my tension. It's what I found. I'm not necessarily saying that's going to work for you. My mom likes to use a five. So as you can see, me and my mom, our plushies are the end up being the same size. But look at the difference. Hold on. Look at the difference between my, my hook size and the hook size my mom uses. It's slight. But we end up having the same size because our tensions are differently. And these hooks have like a nice little pointy tip to them. So those are just my two um, scents if you guys wanted to know or wanted unsolicited advice about hooks. These are my preference. I like them. Help. They're good for my grip. So yeah, I'm going to give you guys a little tour of my pegboard now. I have my moon bin back down here. I have all of my cute notes from everyone. I have I saw a picture of someone have their um, headphones here, and I thought that looked so cute, so I put my headphones. I got these for Christmas from Oscar's parents, and I fucking love them. Um, they're Sony's. I don't know. I think like WH100 or something. I don't know. I'm not very techie, but I guess his little brother said that these were like really good. Um, I have my little chapstick holder that I got from Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. And I have my planner I got from Vianne and my um, crochet like books where I have all my patterns. And I have a nice um, little plant here, crochet plant that I got from Haley. And so that's my little, my little um, quick little tour of my pegboard. Also, I'm missing a p photo of Papa Vibes, but I have Oscar up here. Which I'm gonna move him a little more up because I did move stuff around, so I need him a little more up. He's gonna be right here. No, he fell. So there's a photo of me and Oscar, and then if you look pretty close, there's a picture of my grandma right there. My grandma. This is my mom's mom, and she's a big, big reason why I got into crochet, and that's why I wanted to have her up here. Sorry. She's a big reason why I wanted to have her up here. She's a big reason why this happened when I graduated college. For those of you who don't know, she gifted me a big crochet bunny, like huge. Her name, I named her Mila, and I love her so much. And my grandma um, gave that to me when I graduated college. So that's why I put that photo up there because that's the day she gave it to me. So I just felt like it was like she put this journey in my path. And I, I give her a lot of that thanks. So I'm going to say a little thing in Spanish because my family actually watches my... Um, videos so I'm gonna put a little zerp in there and we'll see if they watch this part because all my nieces watch it in Mexico but they're like we don't know what there's a saying because they we don't speak English but we watch so give me a second <laughs> okay este parte del video va a ser para todos mis primitas pa mis sobrinas pa mi mi mami Lucia mi tía Mago todos ustedes que dicen pues miro los videos de la risa y no sé lo que está diciendo porque no hablamos inglés so aquí er es para ti soy voy a tratar de hacer un video en total en español pero dame poquito dame poquito porque pues me da como que vergüenza porque todavía a veces creo que la gente me va a hacer burla por cómo hablo el español pero ya sé que ya ya estoy mejor digo pero uno más estaba diciendo estaba enseñando a toda la gente ya cómo puse mi oficina para este año y quería decir la razón que tengo mi mami Lucía este es el foto que nosotros nos tomamos en una de mis fiestas cuando me gradué de la universidad y ese día ella me dio de regalo un conejo tejido de que, que ella ordenó de mi tía Mago y ese regalo era ese regalo que más 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 amado hay algo tan bonito en ese ya la di un nombre de Mila y la razón que yo pongo a mi mami Lucía, nomás pues amo a mi mami Lucía, sí. Pero el razón que la tengo ahí es que ella sin, sin tratar o ni en cuenta se dio de que ese día que ella me dio ese tejido, ella ni en cuenta que eso iba a ser mi carrera hoy. Ahora eso es lo que hago de trabajo, es mi carrera, es mi pasión. Y mi mami Lucía empezó eso y ni en cuenta que ella hizo eso. So, nomás quería dar ese gracias a mi mami Lucía. No le diga abuela, no lo, no le digo abuela porque no le gusta. So, no le voy a decir abuela, pero es la mamá de mi mamá. 
Y la tengo ahí porque pues ella siempre me ha dado un amor que, que, que no puedo, exp ni, ni puedo expresarme, ni puedo, <ríe> ni puedo decir lo que quiero decir porque pues me voy a poner a llorar. Pero yo, a, a, cuando ella pudo ir a los Estados Unidos y estar conmigo, ella estaba ahí cada vez que la necesitaba, cuando me gradué, cuando... Me, me casé cuando, cuando hice todas esas cosas Mi mami Lucía se iba en un autobús Y se llegaba a los Estados Unidos para mí Y eso es algo que nunca voy a olvidar Mi mami Lucía es alguien que amo con todo mi corazón Mira, me voy a poner a llorar Y nomás la quiero dar gracias porque Ella, ella me dio algo que nunca voy a poderle dar la gracia Y, y nomás no más quiero decir que la tengo ahí arriba porque cuando hay días que no tengo motivación um, Yo la miro a ella y me da tanto admiración La admiro Es alguien que trabaja todavía hasta hoy Mi mami Lucía trabaja, es una señora que es el ejemplar Y um, la amo, la amo tanto So, no más quería dar ese... Um, Momento para mi mami Lucía Porque pues Es mi, es mi chiquita Es mi little baby <ríe> Y ya, yeah. so Mami Lucía, si estás viendo eso Esto, muchísimas gracias por estar en mi vida Muchísimas gracias por ser una abuela Que Que trata a sus nietos bien Y Porque hay muchos que no hacen eso So, muchísimas gracias Me Sin ti no sé No sé cómo sería mi, mi vida ahorita Pero por porque tú me diste eso, empezaste algo que ni, ni te diste cuenta. So, muchísimas gracias, mami. Te amo. All right. Enough with the waterworks. Sorry, I got emotional talking to my grandma. But I'm going to roll up some yarn. I'm going to finish this one after. So, let's do it. Join me for crackhead hours. Oscar! What? <laughs> uh, Oscar decided to join me while we watch a little movie. But I was able to make, I picked up the pace and I made 10 purple octos now. So I did pink and purple today. So that means I did 20. So it was not the 30 I wanted, but 20 is pretty good. What do you think, baby? It's pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I counted and we're at 83 octos in three days. So that is pretty damn good. But I'm gonna continue tomorrow because this ended up being a week of octos. I can't find my, well my tripod doesn't work so you guys are on a cup right now. <laughs> it's the next day. I'm at 83 octos but today I released my posy dragon. My fairy dragon is out. Guys, the amount of support that is coming it's only been, it's not even been 30 minutes yet. And we've sold, I know you guys like when I tell you guys this stuff. We've sold so far 11 on the shop, on my shop. And I think 6 on Etsy. So if you guys want to go check it out. If you guys want to make a fairy dragon, you guys are more than welcome to. Link will be in the description box. It, she's going to be on my shop. And she's going to be cheaper on my shop because on Etsy there's fees. So she's a little more expensive on Etsy, but it's up to you. Whatever your preference is. I don't care, but thank you so much for the support. I need to go to the post office and drop off some packages, some orders we got. You guys saw me pack one, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take some. Look, we got another one. <laughs> this is so cool. 
um thank you guys so much we are less than a hundred people away like we're 80 people away also on on instagram from hitting 10k on instagram so we hit 10k on instagram i just did the giveaway for youtube but if, when we hit 10k on instagram i'm gonna do another giveaway because we got to we got to so another 50 dollar gift card to joanne's i just yarn we're all here we all want yarn you know what i mean and if even if you're not like a crocheter and you watch there's so much stuff at joanne's that you can get um so yeah i'm gonna go to the post office but i'm just so extremely grateful every one of you who have already purchased thank you so much you guys have no idea like something so beautiful came out of this situation i'm just really really happy i'm just really really happy so thank you so i was looking through my box of octos right and let's go over the colors i did so we started off with red well i'm not gonna say the order that i made them in but we have red we have green we have purple we have blue pink yellow and then let me see if i can make all of these like really cute orange and then one more we have like the mix of pink so that's really good i was like i still want to make more of these i'm not done at all but i didn't want to make this video too too long but i'm going to try to get rid of this big twist um plush i know people are going to be mad at me i don't like big twist pl like plush i don't i haven't tried big twist posh so i'm not saying anything about that but i just at least this black one from big twist i just don't it's not my favorite but guys so for those of you like i said today was the launch of the pattern release well i guess it was the pattern release day for the dragons for posy and it's been four hours since posting posy and on my shop Purchases that we got, because I'm going to tell you guys. So, purchases that I've received from my shop patterns. Um, we, re we have received 42 patterns bought. Does that make sense? Like, 42 people have bought it. Like, 42 times on my shop. I also put it on Etsy. So, never mind. What did I just say? 42? 43. 45. We've had 45 transactions. Okay, remember that, 45. Etsy, we have had 45. <laughs> 45 plus 45, we've had 90. And that's not even including everyone that on my Patreon already has it, and there's that's another, another 45 people who have it. I am in awe. Also, I wanted to show you guys something that came in the mail today. Move you over here. 
Well, look at this. Do you know what this is? Of course not. It's a pink tripod. Look how cute it is. Originally, I was like, do I really want a pink tripod? But in reality, when I go to markets, people are staring at my black um, tripod anyway because it's so tall and big. So might as well make give someone give them more to look at with a bright pink one. Um, my hairstylist, um, Savannah, had this one and I fell in love with the pink. Like, look at it. There were purple ones, but I don't know. This pink one was calling my name, so I'm gonna give a, gonna get rid of my old ones, and be happy with the new. And hopefully, I don't break this one. Also, look how tall this thing gets. It's almost taller than me. I think. Is it taller than me? I don't think so. But it is tall. And look how. And you guys saw how compact it gets. That's insanity. My old tripods, like, they wouldn't even hold their spot anymore from how much they went up and down. Like, I would have it here, and then it would slowly just go like this from the weight of my camera. So, we have upgraded. Okay, it's 4 o'clock, and I have just... Today's been an exciting day. You guys are going to hear my phone in the background. But I have just finished five black octos to the mix. So, remember at the beginning of this video, there was nothing in here. I, th I had one. I had one octo. That was one of these. Now look at it. And it's still not full. So we're going to keep going. I think I'm only going to have five black for right now. Because I kind of want to cycle through like some of the darker colors that I have. Like so that I have different variations. Like maroon red does well. Darker blue. So we'll see. I don't want to say I'm going to make all this stuff. And then you guys already know me. Like I don't have the time or the brain like. Like the focus to do it. Also looking at my pink little tripod. You guys look good. <laughs> look who's here to close out the video with me. Yay. Thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this video I filmed it from Tuesday to today. Which is Friday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Four days? Four days. Really? And then I did that math wrong. But... <laughs> So we ended up having, this is what I ended up doing. I'm still going to make more, but not today. Um, as you guys know, I know I've been saying it here and there. I've been dealing with some health issues and I've just been going through a lot of pain. So I'm not really able to sit as long as I would like to or focus on stuff recently just because it, it's just been hard around the house. I thankfully I have my husband here who's been very, very supportive of me. During this time, so thank you, baby. Um, what are you doing? We're just standing kind of fun. <laughs> so I just wanted to break down really quick. Can you hold this? Yes. Um, I just wanted to break down. We have, I ended up a total of 92. Right? 13, wait, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95. Five. Oh, so we ended up having 95. Almost five away from 100. And you burp. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I feel so studious going like this. I kind of want to tell you guys how much of each I made. So, I started off with this purple um, pink mix. Let me know what I should name it in the comments on the shop. We made I made 13 of these. Pale orange. I made nine of them because I had one already. Oh, so 94. I made 94 in four days. One pail was was already made. Red, I made 10. I can't find the red one. <sighs> red, I made 10. Pale yellow, I made 10. Sage green, I made 10. Baby blue, I made 10. I haven't had this color in so long, so this is these are all going to be available on the shop if you guys want to get any. They're $8 on my shop, but I sell them for $5 at my markets. Um, pink, I made 10. Black, today, this is what I made today. I made five. Um, I made five burg, uh, pale red, and then I made two burgundies. I wanted to make five, 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 but I just couldn't, and it happens. I was a little um, disappointed with myself, but then at the same time, I'm like, almost a hundred octos in less than a week so that's really good 
And I still don't think that this is enough. This will last me maybe two markets. That's what's crazy. It's good. It's a good. It's a good problem. I have I have two more mark, two more like weeks or three more weeks, right? Till the next market. Three. I have three weeks left. So these next few weeks, I'm gonna work on dinos, leggy froggies, and all the good stuff. Again, we hit a hundred currently. Starting right now. Wait, actually. Thirteen. 113 pattern sales. So 113 people went and bought Posey the Fairy Dragon! Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks, babe, for closing out the video with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Hit the button that looks like this. We have Patreon. Patreon's open. Mondays we're doing Zooms, so we crochet together. I know how much you guys love the uh, lives, but I kind of want to be a little more um, interactive with you guys and put faces to the names who are so supportive of me and Oscar's journey here on YouTube. So I love you guys. Bye! Bye.